Hello and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action number 45. I'm Deborah Worsu. While contemplating what to do for this week's video, it suddenly came to mind that, here in Melbourne, it's the time of year for the spring horse racing carnivals. Now, I am not even remotely interested in horse racing, but it did make me think of hats. Living quite close to one of the racetracks, as I do, I see women dressed in their finery, hats and fascinators, tripping off for a day of sun and, I suspect, a lot of champagne. Anyway, back to my hats. For this piece, I was attracted to the idea of stitching a design in the spirit of the pretty sun hats worn by French children and ladies in the early part of the 20th century. It was a time of such elegance and simplicity in fashion, so I aimed to work a simple, cheerful design representing the freshness of youth. As you can see, this is worked on a plain damask pink background fabric, and I've used just one single colour of thread, in this case a deep purple, to create a design replicating a simple pencil sketch. As you can see, much of the stitching is worked in a single direction, creating unity in the design. Some cross-hatching here and there, as well as the closeness of stitched lines, adds the contrast of light and shadow to various areas. Designs like this really are quite simple, and always remember that old adage that less is more. It's so easy to spoil something by overworking it. I know because I've done it so many times. Stitching faces is an aspect of thread sketching that I find very challenging and quite nerve-wracking. Once again, a badly stitched mouth or nose, or the pupil of an eye not quite showing the right expression, can totally destroy a picture. So, once again, I opted for simplicity so as not to ruin the effect of my picture. In the end, I think I got the look on the girl's face about right. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at deborahworsu.com for more tips, tutorials, patterns and videos.